All right, it is finally time to give you my full review of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Let's first start it off with the looks of the phone. I really like the design of this. It has the new squared design on the whole phone from the inside to the outside. Also, the outside display is now a little bit bigger and brighter. The displays are brighter, but just design wise, overall, the cameras have rings around them. It's a cooler design. It's lighter, it's thinner. It's a better design, really nice. They hit it out of the park in terms of the build quality, the look, the finish, the, all that stuff. They did a great job. This is the most uh, perfect feeling and also the best looking. This is the, they, they just did a great job. They, it's like, it feels like, a, not that the other phones didn't feel like finished products per se, but this feels like a, the most complete version of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 to date. Performance on this thing is amazing. Snapdragon HN3, 12 gigs of RAM. It is the smoothest Galaxy Z Fold phone I have had to date. I started off with the second, now with the six, and these phones have gotten progressively smoother with day-to-day -day operations. And you would kind of expect that, especially as these pro processors get more powerful, and this one does amazing. And they did a great job with the software uh, performance as well in terms of like just day-to-day -day operation. It doesn't really have any jagged edges. It does a little bit, and I think, and supposedly, it's gonna be even more improved once One UI 7 launches with this phone. But, you know, gaming is really good on this, and I did a video on that showing off this with uh, Fortnite and also Fall Guys, and it just does a great job at gaming. You can game on the, you know, the highest settings, epic settings on it. It isn't perfect at it um, at 60 frames. 30 frames, it's fine, but 60, it's a little bit, eh. 60 frames at high settings is really good, but otherwise, you're gonna get great gaming capabilities with this great day-to-day -day performance on this phone. Everything's great about that. Like, it's, they, again, it's, it, it goes from these phones feeling almost there, and this phone totally feels there. It's the most perfect edition. Now, the displays, they've changed the color temperatures of these phones versus what they had in previous generations. Um, I think I like the colors better on like the Galaxy Z Fold 5. They are more vibrant in terms of, and more rich in color. They went, went for more of a natural look on these ones this year. I'm so used to it now that when I look at it, I'm like, ooh, it doesn't look right. But when I compare them side by side, I do notice a difference between the two displays. Um, the brightness has been improved on these as well. I tested them outdoors. I didn't notice a huge difference, honestly, but there is a slight difference overall. Um, and then the quality of the display in general is still good on here. Um, it's good. You know, it's it's not. It has, it's definitely not my favorite looking display. Again, when I compare it to the Z Fold 5, I feel like I like the colors better than that. Um, but still, it's still a really good display. Speakers on this phone are awesome. They've been improved so so much, especially compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. I know, I think it was like the Z Fold 2, and I was like, man, these speakers are great, and then the Fold 3 came out, and I was like, uh, you know what, the speakers aren't as good. But yeah, the speakers are awesome on the Fold 6. They're really deep and full. They've got good bass, good volume. Definitely the best folding speakers I've heard on any phone that I've compared them to as well. Definitely the most full sounding. You're gonna love the speakers on this phone. The cameras on here, they're basically the same as they've been for the last couple of years from the four, the five, and the six, but they are improved. And obviously it's done with a lot of software and probably a lot of love and tender, love and caring built into that, but it's definitely better. I'm taking better photos in terms of the quality of the photo. I've compared it to the, the Z Fold 5 and I like the colors generally better. The quality, like the, the actual sharpness of the photos has been improved. They are really, really good cameras. They're up to the 24, 24 plus mark in terms of what you would expect. They're basically the same as those cameras, but they're definitely improved from previous generations of the folding phones. And again, you would hope with that, anything about these older phones coming into the new generation, you always always expect and feel like, okay, the new generation has to be better. And it is, the cameras are definitely better. Even though again, it's the same basic cameras, the cameras are definitely better with the Galaxy Z Fold 6 in the things that I mentioned above. And then also the video seems to be better as well. Um, you know, m m a huge jump, probably not, but a little bit. So cameras, videos, better. Charging, 
Charging is exactly the same, 15 watt wireless, 25 watt wired. It's so annoying that they haven't upgraded that in ever. We're still on those same speeds and they just won't, won't do it. Don't know why, especially when these phones are as kind of big as they are, but you know, I have to admit, I mentioned in the beginning, they're thinner and lighter and uh, easier to hold, if you want to call it like that. But at the same time, they won't give us bigger batteries because it's still the same 4,400 milliamp battery and the charging is the same. Charging, they need to improve it. It's still okay. It's just, it needs to be improved. Get it to the next level. And then, like I said, the battery size is exactly, exactly the same at 4,400 milliamps. But the key component is this, I'm getting a little bit better battery life. And you're gonna hear that from a lot of people in terms of what you get for battery life with that. Um, it's not gonna be massively different than what you got with the previous generation. It's a little bit better. Um, in the beginning, for the first few weeks, I was getting three and a half hours of screen on time. Now I'm getting somewhere between five and five and a half hours of screen on time. Uh, it's finally kind of settled in. Um, but generally I take it off the charger at 6 a.m. and then I put it and play with it until about, I don't know, I could probably play with it until about 3 p.m. before it's really gonna be on its last five or 10% and then I need to charge it. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, I can get basically a full day out of it and then I have to charge it. Software, they haven't changed it all that much. There's a couple of new tweaks with the AI stuff that's on there, but between giving you all of the AI features built into this phone and good luck and all the other stuff that's built in this phone with themes and eye compacts and always on display customization. There's so much customization and control on this phone. It makes it the probably the best software experience you can get on a folding phone, really on a phone in general. It's one of the high selling points about Samsung Galaxy phones and they continue with that quality and efficiency and overall per just great pack of software that you get with this phone. It's seriously awesome. And our, a number, one of the number one reasons to really grab this phone is the software experience. You get updates from seven years. So seven years of security and software updates. It's amazing. So, you know, it brings us down to is this phone a good phone to buy? Definitely. Definitely um, <clears throat> the most complete folding phone that you can get right now that I've tried for 2024. Um, between the software experience, between the quality of the phone, the cameras, the speakers, the performance, everything about this phone is really, really good. At the same time, it's not perfect, but it's the most perfect Samsung Galaxy phone to date with build quality, software, performance, battery, like all those things. It's just a better overall phone. Is it worth it to upgrade from the Fold 5 to the Fold 6? If you have the money, your phone's not working, or you love to upgrade, yeah, do it. If you're completely happy with the Fold 5, maybe not. But it's a really, really great phone. If you're in the market to getting a folding phone, this is the one to get. This is the one that is the most complete folding phone. Again, that I've tried just yet in 2024. It could change, could add more onto that list. Uh, the Fold from Pixel isn't out yet, the newest one, nor is OnePlus Open. They're not gonna come out with one this year until next year. So it's a great phone. Check it out. I think you'd be really, really happy with it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.